Are you serious? Are you serious? The BBC News in England has started putting microchips in the hands of their employees. Folks, the technology for the mark of the beast is coming quickly. Check this out. This is an unbelievable. Centre in Stockholm, a new high-tech office building is open to welcome startups and established companies like Google and Microsoft. But there's one key thing about the technology of the building, and that is that people who work here can be chipped to gain entry to the building and various services. Uh, I've just been chipped myself. Uh, it's not a painless process, but it doesn't last too long, not too difficult. Minor surgical procedure, which basically involves uh, a little chip the size of, I suppose, of a grain of rice being inserted under your skin, uh, and you can then go off and have it programmed and then do various things inside the building. Let's go and have a look. And here's Hannah Schoblad, who is uh, in charge of this whole chipping operation in this building. Now, you've been chipped yourself. Where's your chip? Yeah, I have a chip right here, which I use to access the entire office. So let's see if we can get into this particular This is uh, how I do it. Okay. No through. need for passcodes. Um, Are you serious? We're in. So, what else can you use this for? Is it just for gaining entry to doors? Because that would seem a fairly simple thing. Absolutely not. I mean, with this technology, I interact with all kinds of devices all around us. It can be normally my smartphone. I unlock my smartphone, my computer, I unlock my bike. Uh, all kinds of things that are now part of the greater connected Internet of Things. But inside this building, you'll be able to do what else? What other thing will you be able to do? Oh, I open the front door, I open various uh, office rooms, uh, I open the copy machine so that I can log into it. So you can print just by putting your hand against the printer? Exactly. So it's instead of having some clumsy device in my pocket, I just put my hand on the reader. If we help show people that this is really not that complicated, it's making our lives easier, I think people will actually welcome this uh, tool, tool to make their lives easier. And is there a sort of wider philosophy behind it? We uh, are early adopters of this technology. We experiment with it. We learn it, how it works. Because I think that there might be a day when uh, the tax man or the big corporates uh, will come to us and say, hey, try this chip, try this implant. And then we, the biohackers, who understand this technology, we will be able to question their proposals. Uh, folks, Here in the center of Stockholm, seriously? Are you serious? These guys are telling you that they are preparing the public for the mark of the beast. It's easy. You get it put in your hand. It opens the secure doors that no one else can open without it. Turns your phone on so if someone steals your phone, they can't use it. Turns your computer on so if somebody steals your computer, they can't use it. You can make, you know, you can make copies on the scanner. Uh, you can gain entrance to secure locations that only those who have been given the the number of the beast or the number of the man. Uh, without it, you won't be able to buy or sell. In other words, what, what they're doing here is they're desensitizing the public into the ideal of the mark of the beast. They're desensitizing people into thinking it's okay to just go ahead and get the chip in your hand. It's okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a deeper, you know, there's not a hidden meaning. There's nothing, uh, satanic about it. There's nothing, uh, you know, con no conspiracy. They don't want you to know. They're trying to ease the public's mind into thinking of a new technology. Why is BBC News putting microchips in their employees' hands so that they can help spread the message of the rise of the Illuminati. It is in the Bible, folks. You will not be able to buy or sell or gain entrance or have a job or function with your cell phone, your computer, or anything else unless you have the secured chip, which will also be linked to your DNA, your irises, the scan of your iris and your eyes. In other words, no one else can use your chip except you.
And this is going to be the security measures. This is how they're going to sell this to the public. It is going to bring peace and security through the RFID microchip. Now, I wrote a book called, of course, The Mark of the Beast, RFID. And I came out with it in 2012. And I'm telling you, this thing is moving like light speed. We are living in the last days. Give your light to Jesus Christ. Time is running out. I'm going to put a link to this entire video down below. You can click on it and go, go watch it. Uh, BBC just is admitting this is what they're doing. Jesus is coming soon. Are you saved? I'm telling you, he's coming for the bride soon. Don't be left behind. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.